Tonight's stunning allegations of blatant uh, bribery and kickbacks made today in Long Island Federal Court in the trial of a former Nassau County executive and town supervisor. Restaurateur Harenda Singh testifying, describing what he claims are favors he carried out for the politicians in exchange for business deals. CBS 2's Carolyn Gustaf reports from Central Islip. Jurors were promised a view of the corrupt Nassau County political machine, and prosecutors say this is what it looked like. A never-ending flood of bribes from restaurant owner Harendra Singh to former Nassau County executive Ed Mangano, a friendship that evolved into a corrupt give and take. Mangano allegedly taking fully paid family vacations like this one to the Caribbean. This $3,600 massage chair paid for by Singh. $4,600 worth of hardware floors installed in the county executive's bedroom and this $7,300 watch Singh says Mangano requested for his son's birthday. Singh told the jury the county executive asked me to help him. I had to do it so he could help us doing business with Nassau County and in return our expectation was whenever we needed any help anywhere in the county we would get it. Was it a bribe prosecutors asked Singh? Yes. So was the $3,600 in cash Ash Singh told the jury Mangano asked him to change out for fear money Mangano accepted from a contractor were marked bills. Prosecutors must prove that what Singh gave was more than just gifts between friends, but a quid pro quo. And what he got in return were official acts. A $230,000 contract to serve emergency food to hundreds of county workers after Superstorm Sandy. There was damning testimony about freebies provided to Oyster Bay Town Supervisor. John Venditto, too. Tens of thousands of dollars in free, lavish limo rides for Venditto's entire family and friends. And a free conference room and food on demand at Singh's restaurant. They were doing things for me, I was doing things for them. But the defense claims Singh gave out simply friendship and received no official acts in return. And to avoid decades in prison, he's simply lying. In Central Islip, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And late today, Singh admitted that he tried to bribe Mayor de Blasio as well. He told jurors that he raised funds for the mayor using illegal straw donors, hoping to get more favorable terms to his city lease for his Water's Edge restaurant. Now, he did not say, saying that is, give any money or gifts directly to the mayor.